So vision rehabilitation is the practice of teaching people who are blind or visually impaired how to live independently and we mainly focus on how they can live independently in their daily lives. Our mission statement at AVRE is to create opportunity for success and independence with people who are blind or visually impaired. Orientation mobility, there's like two parts of it. So the orientation perspective is um, where you are, where you're going, how you're gonna get there. And then mobility is uh, transferring one place to another. So what my job is as an orientation mobility specialist is I will teach consumers how to travel safely, independently and efficiently um, with mobility skills as well. It's important for people who are blind or visually impaired to have access to these services because it allows them to live independently. Everyone deserves the option to live independently if they want to, so it's important that we allow them to have this opportunity, especially since a lot of what we teach and the products that we use aren't very well known to people outside of the vision rehab field. We were here on a site tour to talk about uh, possibly uh, buying paper from here. On our way out, I was just kind of looking at the pictures and there happened to be one on the wall of my dad. Uh, because my dad worked at the Blind Work Association. Also, my stepmother worked here for a few years, and that's actually where they met. Uh, afterwards, I talked to Jen and Kenny, and I said, uh, you know, what can I, how can I volunteer or do something uh, for AVRE? And uh, they mentioned possibly joining the board. The more I attended, the more uh, I enjoyed coming to the meetings and, and doing what I could, my small part, uh, in uh, working towards the, the good that AVRE does for the community and for the workers. And I went into orientation mobility training because I have family members that are blind and visually impaired, so that really inspired me to get into this field. It's unique because it's a very small field since uh, not a lot of the population would need to benefit from a vision rehabilitation, but we work with each person individually and use a variety of different techniques or products to find what works best for them. So for example, if someone was totally blind, they might need to have different training than someone who can still see a little bit. It just depends on the person. I consider myself very lucky because I am right on the cusp of being legally blind. And I, I think, you know, that I'm blessed, but I also know that if down the road, if something, you know, my vision decided it was going to get worse, that there's organizations, people that I know I can go to that would help me, teach me the tricks of the trade, which sighted people sometimes don't get. A lot of the stuff that I've been working on with consumers has been reading and writing braille, adaptive cooking techniques, adaptive labeling techniques, how to use a smartphone or an Amazon Alexa device, and much more. Each person is different, so it just depends on what they want to work on with me. The O&M training area is something we built recently. It helps me uh, introduce outdoor travel to my consumers. And what it includes is things like crosswalks that have different tactiles, uh, information on them, as well as crosswalk, a little intersection, and curb cuts. This gives me the opportunity to introduce those types of things to a consumer before we actually hit the streets and then do it live with like cars and things, other distractions, things like that. So using that training area really gives me the opportunity to really just focus on those particular techniques. We actually have an engineering team that can modify jobs that uh, otherwise would not have been able to be performed by a blind individual. So we are very fortunate of that, where they'll take, they'll take a job, um, modify it so that a blind individual is totally capable of performing that operation, such as our PEMCO sheeter. And as a machine operator, they can perform that operation as well, if not better than a sighted individual. When I first came here, I, I worked in the sighted world for a lot of years. And like I said, I consider myself lucky. But I, when I came here, I never thought of myself as techy, you know, or even mechanical. And now I was taught how to run the sheeter, which I was very surprised after I learned how to run it, 
how much I enjoyed running it. I never thought I was that mechanical. As, as a production manager here at AVRE, I would like everyone to know that there's only one difference between our agency, our manufacturing facility here in beautiful downtown Binghamton, and any other company, is that our individuals have a visual impairment where these other companies don't. That's where we prosper. Um, my favorite part of my job is to see my uh, consumers or clients grow as a person and as an individual, see them gain so much confidence and independence. It's really rewarding. I mean, my job is what I do. I, I love getting up every morning and coming here. I would go absolutely bonkers if I didn't have a job. You know, AVRE, I get to come in here every day and because I get cross-trained and I feel they have confidence in me, I can step into a lot of the jobs and that to me is great. The more I learn, the better off I am. I think it's, it's really important to be able to provide people that are visually handicapped opportunities to become somewhat independent as much as they're capable of. Whereas if they didn't have an organization like AVRE, um, it, it would be very difficult for them to live even close to a normal life. I got a text from one of my uh, consumers. Um, she was practicing things that we were working on and I asked her how she felt afterwards and she said that she felt free. And I was just like, my job's done here. Not done, but I was like, I, I did it. Like that was, really, that was a really cool experience to hear a client say that they felt free. I'm like, that's my purpose. For 95 years, we have made it our focus to provide people who are blind or visually impaired with the tools they need to meet their personal and professional goals. Yet our services provide more than just new skills. They foster confidence, independence, and hope. With your support and generosity, we will continue to expand our resources and provide comprehensive vision rehabilitation services in the years to come. On behalf of AVRE and the people we serve, thank you.